Today we are talking about decomposing numbers. Our learning target says I can decompose and represent numbers in different ways. To decompose means to break down. In the past with base 10 blocks, we've been regrouping when we've had too many. This time we are going to show that these different ways that we represent numbers are still the same. So let's get started. I'm gonna click on this icon to bring me to the virtual manipulatives. This also is on our Schoology page in math. So I have represented some base 10 blocks for us. So we have two hundreds, three tens, and two ones which gives me the number 232. And we represented 232 with two hundreds, three tens, and two ones. That is one way to represent the number 232, but I know that these bigger pieces are made up of smaller groups. So for example, this 10 is also represented as 10 ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade. So I'm still going to have two hundreds, but instead of this 10, I'm going to trade it for 10 ones. So I have one, two tens, and I'm still going to have those two ones, but instead, I'm going to add 10 more ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So now I still should have 232. So I have two hundreds, I don't have three tens anymore. I have two tens and 12 ones. Two hundreds, two tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ones. Now remember, I could take ten of them and I could put them together to make a rod, but I'm not going to do that because I want to show that we can be represented in two different ways. So my number is still 232. And we just showed 232 two different ways. We decomposed, we broke down this 10 and we replaced it by these 10 ones. Let's look at another one. We have 100, one, two, three, four tens and three ones, which gives me the number 143. And we represented 143 again with 100, four tens, and three ones. So that is one way that we can represent 143. Now I know that there are 10 tens in 100 and 10 ones in 110. So last time I traded a 10 for ones, but this time I'm going to trade a hundred for some tens. So I want you to think how many tens would be replaced by this hundred? The correct answer is 10. So I'm replacing just this hundred with 10 tens, but I'm still keeping these four. So in the end, I should have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, tens. So watch, I take this hundreds block and I break it up into our 10 tens. Then I still have 
our four extra tens that were in the previous number and three ones. So we have one, oh, we don't have any hundreds. We have zero hundreds, 14 tens, and three ones. Now remember, these tens can turn into a hundreds block, but we broke it up into tens. So the number should still be 143 because, as we just did, when we group those together, I have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 3. We still have 143, and we showed it two different ways. Remember, we decomposed, we broke down this hundreds block into 10 tens. Let's do one more. Let's find out what is represented by these base 10 blocks. Pause your video and figure it out. Now that you've figured out your base 10 blocks, we know that we have one, two, three hundreds, one, two, three, four, five tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six ones. And based on that, we know that we have the number 356. So that is the typical way that we would represent 356. But we know that we can decompose these bigger blocks and break them down. So I know that there are 10 tens in 100, and I know that there are 10 ones in a 10. So I am going to keep my hundreds the same. I'm still going to have three hundreds but I'm going to break up one of these tens. So I have five of them. Two, three, four, five. But remember, I'm trading one of these for 10 ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And those are just the 10 ones from this tens block. I still need to bring over the six ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I could have traded a hundreds block, but I personally felt like just trading a tens block. So we should still have 356. Let's count and see. I have three hundreds. I only have four tens, but I have 16 ones. And remember, I have 16 ones because we traded a 10 for 10 ones. Now my number is still going to be 356 because I have one, two, three hundreds, one, two, three, four tens. But remember, I have those 16 ones and 10 of them, 10 of these blocks could be grouped together into a tens block and I'll still have six left over. So my number is still 356. Thanks for watching.